Hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. So right now what I'm feeling for myself and a lot of the people around me is that it's time to step into your personal power. I know a season ago, maybe like a few months, we were all talking about up leveling. We're going to up level, up level. Perfect. Now is the time to continuously put more of that into action. Speaking for myself, I can tell that when it comes to personal power, I've hindered myself out of fear in few ways. When you are leveling up and moving in your power, sometimes people and things will fall away because it's no longer in alignment with who you're becoming, who you are. And I can say for myself that there's some things that I've been afraid to do or um, experience or ways that I've been afraid to walk in my full power because of the fear of stepping on other people's toes, making other people uncomfortable, making other people feel some kind of way. And because I know me and I have a good heart and I care deeply about people, you can see it in my work, you see it in my events. Um, I know most of you can see it in my soul. It's the kind of thing you can't hide. However, I can no longer tiptoe around feelings and situations and things that are literally blocking me from stepping into my personal power. Um, I have really great friends. I hope my friends know me well enough to know that anything I'm doing or creating is not out of spite or stolen or anything that can come up. Um, there's all kinds of situations that when you start moving and walking in your power, making different decisions and moving differently and really pushing yourself to be on another level, it, it ruffles feathers. I'd hate to be the one to admit it, but it does. Um, so I just want to make sure that everybody is feeling in their power and feeling strong and courageous about what they're doing. I know that's where I'm at. And you cannot walk in your personal power if you're constantly worried about other people and what they say and what they think. Move from love at all times, absolutely. This ain't about forget everybody, I'ma do me, did it like do you. Keep your heart, keep your head and do things right and honestly, but the rest is out of your control. So it was just a little message. Go ahead and move in your personal power. It's time. I know that there are things waiting for you, there are things waiting for me. And it all depends on if I'm going to move in that direction and be fearless about the decisions that I make. You know, we are allowed to move in faith. You know, there's enough for everybody. Um, God says your gift makes room for you. So knowing that alone should allow you to move in boldness, knowing that who you are, what you have, what comes to your heart and your mind and what you create is literally the world was designed to open up the gates so you can walk on through, breeze on through, and enjoy your journey of fulfilling the best parts of yourself in your own lane. If you're doing you and being yourself and moving authentically, that lane is a lane all of your own. So don't let people knock you off your square. Don't let people tell you, oh, you think you're all that because you're doing this or um, you've only done this before. Why are you doing something new now? Or you know, whatever else comes up, remove the fear and move in your power. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And um, I'm excited to see where this journey leads. All right, y'all, peace.